other aspirants if you are preparing for ESC mains then you are in the right place if you don't know me my name is Ajay I secured all India rank 26 in ESC 2020 with a score of 288 in prelims and 292 in mains exam firstly don't worry too much about your prelims performance even if you qualify prelims with a bare margin you still have a good chance of getting a top rank in ESC 2017 a person from ECE cleared prelims with a margin of one mark yet he managed to score 434 in mains and went on to get all India rank 3 in ESC 2017 you never know what's gonna happen in future so keep your hopes high and continue your mains preparation rather than worrying about your prelims marks now let me answer some of the questions that aspirants frequently ask me regarding mains exam so the first question is coaching required if yes which one to join personally I have joined ace academy classroom course for mains batch and have also enrolled in made easy online course just to make sure that I am not missing out anything however I could not watch much of the video lectures from made easy because the questions were on a very tougher side even if I manage to learn those tougher concepts I won't be able to reproduce those tougher questions in the exam hall because there is a time limit and it's really hard to reproduce these lengthy lengthy tougher questions in the actual exam so I strictly made notes according to ace academy classroom lectures and these notes were pretty helpful for me during revision if you are living in a rural area and could not move to Delhi or Hyderabad for coaching you can enroll for online courses also both of these institutes offer online courses personally I would recommend you to go for ace academy mains batch because the questions they teach would be more or less relevant to the actual exam model the questions won't be too tough or it won't be too easy also so the second mostly asked question which test series to join online or offline I would recommend you to go for offline test series because online test series is pretty hectic you have to write the answers you have to scan it you have to upload it the process is pretty lengthy also but if you opt for offline test series it would be sitting in an exam hall sitting along with other students preparing for the same exam so offline test series is much much better comparing with online one but if you have no other choice at least enroll for an online one even if you score less marks in these test series try to attempt every test the purpose of the test series is to make you habituated to the exam pattern and improve your time management skills the most the of these tests is not to compare your marks with your friend's marks. So irrespective of the marks you get in these tests, try to attempt every test. So the next question is how to prepare for mains exam. Make your own notes after attending the coaching classes. Generally coaching classes would finish by afternoon. So once you come back to room, revise prelims notes once again which covers the topics that were taught on that particular day. Also you can solve previous year questions related to those topics which were taught on that day. So if you do like this, you would be able to finish mains notes, prelims notes and also previous year questions simultaneously. This is an excellent way of uh, preparing for mains exam. So the next question is how should I practice answer writing? Mains exam is all about answer writing. So start answer writing from the day one itself. In case of conventional questions, try to write answers in bullet points instead of paragraphs. In case of numericals, try to write the answer cut to the point. You don't have to drag it too much. I'll take two examples here. The first example is V equal to IR. If you are writing V equal to IR, you don't have to write what is V, what is I and what is R. The examiner himself knows what is what and he don't expect you to explain each and everything. Now comes the second example if you are writing diode current equation i equal to i naught into e power v by eta vt. Here eta is nothing but ideality factor. You have to mention what value you are taking. Whether it is 1 or 2, you have to mention explicitly what value you are taking. So as per the question requirements, you can explain as much as possible. Ultimately, quality matters over the quantity. Try to write these answers in an efficient manner because if you are writing very detailed answer for a 10 mark question, you would end up wasting a lot of time. I have also made a detailed video on how to attempt the mains paper in QCAB format, which is question come answer booklet format. I have taken a mock test paper of Ace Academy and explain what were the mistakes that I have done in my initial mock test. That was a pretty interesting video. You will get a lot of insights on how to attempt the paper and how not to attempt. So don't forget to check out that video also. I'll add all those mock tests and my answer copies in the description. You can uh, go and check it out if you are really into this. Before ending this video, if you are someone who cleared ESC prelims and did not enroll for mains coaching yet, Ace Academy is offering free courses for those who qualified ESC prelims. Classroom coaching, postal course, online course and test series everything is free these courses are really good personally i have enrolled in offline classroom coaching i'll add more details in description you can go and check it out and that's it for today if you found this video helpful make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share your opinions in the comment section even if you don't do any of these i thank you for watching this video till now take care and i'll see you all in the next video